Hi, my name's Amy. I'm the clinical specialist with SABO and I thought I'd do a brief video on using your electrical stimulation device to help with practice everyday tasks. So in this video, I'm going to focus on opening the fingers and taking the wrist back in order to be able to grasp and release a uh, object. Repetitions are really important in rehab, but it's also important to try and incorporate a functional task for longer learning. Research suggests that your, your brain and memory will retain that information longer if you then try and take your arm or your leg if you're working on your uh, lower limb into an everyday task. So in this instance, I'm going to be using the uh, Sabre Stim Pro. I've got one channel uh, working with one lead and I've got the electrodes on my forehead. So I've got one electrode on the bulk of my extensors on the top of my arm and the second electrode minimum of about an inch down. With the Sabre Stim Pro, it doesn't matter which way round the red and the black leads go. On some devices it does, um, so just check with the manual. I'm going to choose program one. So I've already turned it on at the side and I've got program one set up. So it's a good uh, typical uh, set up on this program of 30 minutes uh, with a, a contraction time of about nine seconds and a relaxed time of five seconds. Um, once I press go, so I'm going to select the channel by just making channel A flash, which is the one that I've got the lead in and I've now got A flashing at the top. If I just turn it up, stimulation starts. And there we go, there's my hand opening up. So in the standard setup, I would need to work with the timing. So I've got to wait till that timing comes back on to then use that to grasp the object. Once it switches off, I can close around it. Then I would need to wait for the stimulation to come back on, which it does there for me to be able to let go. The added extra um, component with the Sabre Stim Pro is that we've got a trigger button. So rather than having to concentrate with that time and work with it, I can control exactly when the stimulation comes on. So to set that up, I've got to make a flash again. So I press the channel button and you can see a flashing. I then press and hold the T button until I get a triangle just underneath the A and I'm now in trigger mode. So when I press the T, the stimulation comes on and it stays on the whole time I'm pressing that button. As soon as I let go, stimulation stops. So I've now got much more control depending on how slowly or quickly I need to move uh, with the amount of movement I've got to get hold of the object. So just some examples. It will depend on how tight your hand is, how much opening you've got, what your weakness is as to what size item you might choose. So I've just got a variety here. Um, so if I go for the larger object, this is more of a gross grasp. So a little bit easier. I'm pressing the stimulation to open my hand as I reach forward. As soon as I think I've got my hand around the object, I can let go and then I'm going to actively close and the stimulation device is doing nothing. I might then practice bringing that to my mouth if I struggle with shoulder and elbow, you can see that I could use my, if I put that down, I could use my unaffected to bring it up and then take it back down again to the table. And then when I'm ready to let go, I can just press the T button again and it's going to take my hand off. What I want to do as well is try and actively work with that. So although the stimulation device is doing it for me, I want to try and open my hand or if I haven't got the opening, at least have that mental imagery that I'm trying to open my hand. So if I go to the cup again, I'm going to press the T button to open till I've got my hand in place. Then when I'm happy, I'm going to let go and squeeze. I'm going to use this to take a sip with. In this instance, I haven't got anything in. So this will depend on your ability level, whether you want to put fluid in it or not. Take it back down again. And then 
really try and think about relaxing and opening the hand and then I'm going to give it that extra help with the, the T button. So making it a little bit harder would be going down to something the size of these plates. So because I've got to have much more fine finger dexterity to get round the grapes if I just move them into shot. So coming down, opening my hand up, then I've got to really get my fingers around that. And I'm not stimulating whilst I've got hold of it, obviously. I could take my hand up the whole time I'm grasping. Then when I want to let go, I can just give that boost. And that's going to help me let go. Or obviously something mid-size. I'm going with a healthy option this morning of an apple. But obviously chocolate bars work just as well. You can see, you can vary it, depend on how much movement you've got shoulder and elbow, whether you bring the other arm in to assist and move that forwards or whether you can slide along the table. You might want to put something slippy on the top, on the table top so you can slide forward as well. Another option, if your stimulation device like the Stim Pro allows you to, you might put a second lead in and put the electrodes in the back of your upper arm so that you could also get elbow extension at the same time as well, which will really help with that nice reach movement. If you struggle with a hand that's much tighter than mine and it struggles to open, don't be tempted to really turn the stimulation up to try and open that hand out, because all that you'll find is happens is you'll get a clawing um, position. So you might want to just start off for a few minutes actually just doing a very gentle stimulation program and not going straight in for the task just to help open the hand out and you can always bring the other hand in just to assist but not trying to force it at all until the hand's loose enough and it might be more initially of a wrist drop position so that the tension is off your muscles and that you can get a bit of a better opening. Soon as your wrist is in that position you might find your hand tightens up and then it's very difficult, even with a stimulator, to open the hand. So a tighter hand, you may want to start more in a crane style position to just get a very stim uh, gentle opening to get round the object. And it might be that you're just craning left and right to let go initially. Hope that's helpful to get you going. And it's just the start of our series. So we will look at different options for the upper arm and going to the shoulder as well. Thank you.